Decor can definitely be really multifunctional as well. In this next hack, I'm going to show you how I use multifunctional decor all around my house. So in my living room, I have this book that opens up and it's perfect for storing my remote. This town's Another functional item in my kitchen is my bread box. It hides my bread. And I hide my electronics in this basket. Another great option is buying baskets from the thrift store. They work perfectly to store so many things. I'm storing some books on the side of my bed with a basket I picked up at the thrift store. So my second home hack that's been a game changer for me is using a rechargeable USB lighter. You guys, these are awesome. They're super affordable. And basically to make them work, all you have to do is plug them into a USB outlet. Then they have charge on them. You just turn it on here. It shows you how much power it has. Then when you hit the power button, it easily lights things. This is perfect for barbecues, candles, anything that you possibly need to light. And I love that it's safe too. So if my kids are using it, their hands are at a safe distance. So if you don't have one of these, pick one up. No way does this next hack work. I saw this online and had to try it, you guys. You see this scratch on my floor here. I found this hack online that said walnuts could remove scratches from floors, wood floors. And I was like, I have to try this. So I picked up some walnuts in our Walmart Plus order this morning. So we got to try this. So they say all you do is take a walnut and rub it on your scratch and it's supposed to remove the scratches. So let's see if it works. All right, my walnuts breaking. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I think it's removing the scratch. No oh way. God. Whoa, that is crazy. Here, let's try this one. Oh my gosh, it's removing this one too. This is my new favorite hack. Awesome. I'm pretty much blown away by this. I cannot believe that these little walnuts <laughs> remove the scratches. It'll be interesting to see how long it keeps the scratches away. But if you have walnuts and some scratches on your floor, try it out. So this next hack I recently learned about and love the way it looks. So you know when you use like a gallon of paint and you have about half of the paint left and let's say you store it for a year and then you open it up and it just doesn't look good, it's not as fresh. So here is a hack to make your paint last longer. So what you wanna do is just open up your paint can or whenever you're done painting, so just use some basic saran or cling wrap that you can purchase pretty much at any grocery store. And you're going to pull off a piece and then you're just going to lay it flat around your paint. Now you don't need to push it in there. You're trying to create a barrier between the paint and the air. So you just wanna lay it in there nicely and then put your paint can lid back on. And the next time you go to use it, it's gonna be so much fresher. I love this hat. So for this next hack, I'm gonna show you how to fold your towels really fancy. Now, I wouldn't do this for all my towels, but if you had like towels displayed out in your bathroom, this is a great option for your towels. So start by laying your towel out completely flat. Next, you're gonna fold one side over. Then you're gonna take your towel and fold it in half. Then flip it over to the other side. Now you're going to start rolling at one end until you roll the entire towel up. Now with the little end that's sticking out, you're just going to take that and tuck it in to the towel. And look at how fancy these towels are. I mean, really, it takes you know less than 30 seconds to do this, and these would be great if you needed some rolled up towels in your bathroom. So here's a great option to kind of rein in your trash bags. You want to get a paper towel holder. In my case, I grabbed mine off of Amazon. I'll link it below along with anything else in this video. You're going to get a big roll of trash bags. These are from Costco. You may have to pull out a few of the trash bags in the center. You're going to put them onto your paper towel holder. And this is a great way to keep them nice and organized. You can just pull one off whenever you need to use it. And it stays nice and clean underneath my sink. 
Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.